I think I got one more in me until I can do other stuff. Or until I, I, I feel like I'm free to do other stuff. I fucking flashbanged? Typecast. When Anti-4 is defeated, all Jokers become eternal. When Anti-4 boss is defeated, set Jokers to zero. So, you have to... You have to be locked the fuck in by Anti-4. I understand that. Any unused Joker space is gone after Anti-4. I will take a double skip here to start. I know we need to see a lot of shops in order to maximize our hands. Wow, it's so nice to be able to play our cards again. What a world, man. I'll, I'll flush post on this one. Honestly, I think it's worth the discards. to try to get a straight flush and guaranteed win in one hand. If you're not gonna give me that, I'll play a straight because um, it's like a flush, but chat actually respects you for playing it. And then that's a big flush right there. Now hold. Great uncommon joker, please. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Sock and Buskin, something that copies Sock and Buskin, buff all face cards and go to the moon. Sock and Buskin does not trigger on steel cards, unfortunately. So I'll, for now, I'll just convert it two into a queen. But we, we know, I mean, on anti two is not common to know where you stand. And we got to get this bad boy to pop and we don't have a hundred years to get jokers, okay? So we got to... We gotta lock in on this quick. But this is actually like highly doable. Like your mom. Sorry. Okay, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it. I was not locked in. Probably should have kept the king because it's a face card. Pair of jacks will go crazy, but 8, 9, 10 jack queen is also, it's a higher molt and then two triggers on face cards. I'm scared, y'all. Don't kill me. Like, I'm in such a good spot. <laughs> I'm dead. It's gonna be a fucking relief when these challenges are done and I just go down, back to playing Balatro, man. 10 jack, queen, king. Isn't skipping in the four first antes risky? I don't know. I haven't been to class for a couple days. Okay. Mystic Summit, good enough to hold till the end of the game. Great now, good enough to hold till the end of the game. And we already, we win in one on this one easily. We just discard the zero. And play that. Fantastic. We don't take that. We don't take that. You know what? Six bucks for my choice of Joker. I would take a look at it at the very least. These Jokers are not eternal yet. So you can... Well, we're obviously going to be using discards. You could take something like this. And if you decide you don't want it later, then you just send it, bro. Just send it. Hira font and sun. What's our blind? Base chip and molt are halved. We, I, I, he got mad weapons too. Ain't trying to hear that. Please. Flush house incoming. Flush house incoming. Any chance you were decline benching 275 yesterday at a gym in the Phoenix area? Sorry, to, you do. the things I do to try to maintain anonymity, and yet still, I get spotted everywhere I go. <laughs> Worth a <the> shot. <laughs> Listen, it's times 1.5, and if we get some steel queens, we win. You gotta at least take a look at it. We can, we can sell it later if we have to sell it later. Keep your queens in hand. 
I, yeah, I discarded my sixes, I know. It's a bit of a crazy play. Or is it, brother? Or is it? Any chance you were bartending as whiskey on Grand in Williamsburg, New York City last night? Why do you think I got so many hot takes about the earthquake, brother? You can, you can hold on this for a minute at least. Because you caused it? What the hell? This, uh, I don't know. I'm going to choose to take that in the worst way possible. That's downright rude. Venus is a very makeable hand. Very makeable hand. Uranus may come in handy. What do you what do you want from me on this? If your poker hand is a straight, I wouldn't get your hopes up about that one. Okay. Honestly, it's anti three. Sure, we could get man, thirty two bucks is pretty good, huh? No, 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 no. I'm I'm I need to see some fucking shops, bro. I need to see some shops. And then we go, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, well, we do have a full house, but full house is slightly better. Okay. <clears throat> Any chance I saw you in front of Thunderbird Stadium last night as Hitsune Miku? That was not me. It might have been my wife, but that was not me. I don't think we can go flush house here, to be honest with you. I will say, though, I think it's funny, like, because I used to think this way, too. You know, like, why would you go see a Tsune Miku concert? Like, don't they just press play and then fucking let her rip? <laughs> but the more I think about it, the more I'm like, the reason you go see the concert is because you like the artist, you like the songs, you like the communal experience, et cetera, et cetera. And also, like, I don't know, at least... 50% of concerts out there, they're just fucking pressing play and letting it rip anyway and pretending to sing, right? Which is like w almost weirder than like a robot singing. Like I know there are artists out there that are singing at the concerts, don't get me wrong. There's also a lot of artists out there that are like, I don't know, I'm sorry, you just, you don't have the kind of cardio to be doing those kind of dances and also holding the notes like that. I get that you train for it, but I just, I, me personally, you sound too much like the record for me to believe that that's not lip syncing. And here's a second take. I think it's a boomer take to be mad at lip syncing at a concert. If you're, if you're going to see like a soulful singer songwriter, it's a different story. If you're going to see a pop star, you're there for the experience. You're there for the pyrotechnics. You're there to actually see the your idol in front of you. You're there to see the dances. You're there for the pageantry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not going to be mad if I go to a, a pop star's concert and they're not singing. It doesn't bother me at all. There's a whole there's a there's a there's a lot of extraneous stuff attached to it that brings you there. It's one of the most even plus two minus twos I've ever seen. Well, you got to remember, I also think that like being a good singer doesn't matter at all. Being like a great singer is a huge improvement. If you have a, a, a one of a kind, beautiful voice, if you just have a really good voice, I don't I don't care. I'm sorry. Sometimes I'd rather hear someone who kind of sucks ass in singing. You guys like clap your hands, say yeah. <laughs> okay, let me think about what what were we doing here. Take some of this. Go next round. We're not playing pairs. We're trying to play three of a kinds, full houses. We're trying to get steel cards. Only a steel card can be a lover. If he had hands to fucking tremble all over. Did I discard some queens? I did. I did discard some queens. Give it a chance. Sunset Rubdown fits in that box. Excuse me, Sunset Rubdown. Spencer Krug is the voice of a generation. If you grew up within 
three hours of Montreal in the mid 2000s. Krughead, stand up. <laughs> Honestly, we take Rocket. It being locked in is Econ. We don't mind that being locked in. You will have to leave at some point, obviously. How about some Chariot cards? None Chariots. That's all right. We'll start to cut Detritus. Hey, I have three streams open at the same time. Is it over for me? Presently, yes. But it's not permanently over for you. Maybe a steel card? All right, I, honestly, I skip on that. That is really bad, though. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta sort that out. You don't need three streams to be open at the same time to feel normal. You just think you do. You barely need one? I'll be honest with you, it's probably better to have zero. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 we should discard? Hopefully that- Oh man, my aid's still selected! That's still pretty good. <laughs> Who they got on mute though? I think that the thing is they probably don't have it on mute. They probably got everybody talking at the same time. That's the scary thought for me. How about a steel card? Like, like a shitty Discord call, so true. Or the average Discord call if you're a streamer. Hey, a steel card. Just thinking, just thinking. We got a couple blinds to work with here. We don't need to rush. We'd love to see as many shops as possible at this stage of our lives. We'd love to see some good hands. We'd love to see some queens in our hand. Beautiful. Honestly, I'm gonna go crazy mode on you. I'm gonna play a pair and hope that my queens with the polychrome is enough to get me I would settle for that, honestly, because that means I, I wanted to keep my gold jack in hand because I get six bucks out of it instead of three, and the, the econ may be relevant. It's anti four. I know we could just you gotta wait till we beat the boss, then we can then we can talk. Honestly, we should roll to see if we can get some some jokers that that we love. I don't think that's the lad. Honest, I'm not spending any more money on this. I'm sorry. You had your chance. You blew it. How about some queens? One queen? Things I'll live with? That was the lad? I'm not as, uh, I'm not as bull-pilled as the, the average Andrew out there. I think that's good enough. I wouldn't say I'm bearish. I'm just not, you know, I'm not insanely bullish. I guess we do need a chip joker at some point. That's true. It's true. How about a, another steel card? How about another queen is also good. $3 well spent. Polychrome jack that we can strength maybe. Or just play, I suppose. Come on. Uh, Space Joker is uh, the least valuable Joker in gaming history. Something's gonna get sold for the chip lad. Something's gonna get sold for Blue Joker. I think it's gonna be you and I'll, I'll stick with Mystic Summit. More reliable already. It, it comes pre-scaled a little bit. Everything. C can we win with this? Yes. Yes, we can win with this. We just need more steel cards. And we only get to play one hand, so... Lock the frick in, Samurai. Three queens, very helpful to make that happen. Especially with the steel card cooking.
40 malts times 1.5 is 60. No, 55 malts times 1.5. Can I get some math here? I know we have a, a straight. I, I feel like high card gets you there too. I don't want to play my steel if I don't have to. Here's what I want to see, okay? You can play a queen. Then I'm giving up 13 molt for 1.5 extra molts. But steel triggers twice, so I'm giving up I'm giving up 13 molt for 2.25 extra molts. You got a good point. You got a good point. Steel's multiplying a molt of one. Yeah. So it becomes 2.25. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. I shoot the moon. Does this synergize with mime? Is every queen giving us 26 malts? Okay. In that case, I would dump the steel card any day of the week and play this straight. That, that had to be, it was all right decision. <laughs> okay, now we're locked in. Hi, Tomo! One more discard. Annoying, but probably important. Honestly, I go straight up. I mean, ectoplasm's good, but we, we know it isn't because we don't have any joker spots. Unless we'd be like fucking four of zero. <laughs> so I would aura, I would aura on this. Yeah. Unless does polychrome work with steel? I, we, we're encountering like every edge case here. No, it does not. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice to see. A discard. How about a steel chance? Beautiful. A queen is good enough. And then knowing we're never going to have to spend money on jokers again, I guess we can let it fly on on taros and planets more easily. We should remember to discard because not not necessarily because we always want a better hand, but because we always want more queens. In all circumstances but the physical. Look at that. How about four of a kind jacks? It was not as good as I expected. <laughs> I promise you I'm not trolling you. You can go look in the glossary and figure out what things interact and which ones don't. Okay. You, let me ask you something. If you had an army of viewers who would just tell you the answer to whatever specific question you have, would you go look it up in the glossary? Now, I already know what you're going to say because I've been doing this for a long time. I've got mentat training. You're going to say, teach a man to fish and he'll never starve a day in his life. Give a man a fish, one day he'll be hungry when you leave. Well, well, guess what? The fish store is free and all you can eat. It's a different story. We're not talking about two guys in a little canoe on the ocean. We're talking about a mid-sized you know, the Arizona Coyotes style stadium here. And everybody's eager to give their fish. They're going, please take my fish. No, no, take my fish instead. Would you ever learn to fish in that situation? If you show me the incentives, I'll show you the outcomes, bro. Now, some of the fish are poisoned. It's true. <laughs> I can't deny that. That's, that's the hard part about being a streamer is figuring out which fish have been fucked with. Me a lucky jack. I'm, I'm gonna use devil on a queen, but I'm gonna wait till it's one that we have in hand. That way we get the money right away. I don't know, brother. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at some point we will be playing flush houses. Two bucks, I'll buy it. No repeat. <coughs> Pardon me. Hand types this round. Little touchy. Little tricky. Little sneaky. Mm, not drawing a queen. 
Not drawing a queen hits a little different, huh? Hi, Tomo! I'm playing my jack, I don't care. Huge. I won the staring contest. Can't take it anyway, brother. Can't take it anyway. Tomo heard fish and pulled up. So true. You know what's been hard? Explaining to my daughter that we can't feed our cats milk. Because the media put out a, a fucking hit on us, bro. On us cat owners. Cats are not supposed to eat milk, right? Because they, uh, they don't have, like, lack... Toast or lactase, I should say. But what if you see a cat in any piece of media? What is that motherfucker eating? Literally 100% of the time it's milk, except for the 0.05% of the time that it's like a fish that's been picked so clean that only the head and like the skin on the tail remains. So my daughter's been watching all these cartoons and I'm trying to explain, like, she's like, why can't we feed Ruka and Tomo milk? And I'm like, cats don't eat milk. And she's like, literally, in everything I've ever seen in my entire life, cats are, they're, they're slurping up a saucer of milk and then they're going like, mmm, yummy. They're like licking their non-existent lips and stuff like that. What I'm trying to say is the media is lying to you. Not you, Tomo. You're ch don't you relax, buddy. You chill out. You want some water? We do have some fucking water. <laughs> That's okay. Cats have lips. Prove it. All cards become the same suit. Nah, brother, this is the perfect wheel opportunity. Oh! <laughs> Did the fucking anime ass laugh. I got so excited. Come on. Come on. We, we got discards remaining. I think a pair definitely gets us there, bro. There's no, there's no shot it doesn't. Hi, Tomo. Please, yesterday, so you, you may have noticed in Jackbox, I said, what are you doing? And then I grabbed Tomo and put him on the ground. He jumped from the floor right on top of my keyboard, hit this like delete key with his paw, and OBS said, are you sure you want to delete main scene? And I'm like, that's the, I use that shit for everything. It would have taken me like six months to get all this shit back loaded into it. Get out of here, man! <sighs> it was like Frank's red hot sauce. No queens, huh? Well, you know what? I, I mean, a death card has got to be like the best card in the game. I'm sorry. Sure, we can get 13 bucks. Sure, we could wheel. It's better to make five of a kinds, four of a kinds, stuff you like. Honestly, I'm a, I'm a snoozer on that one. I know I know what we got, and I'm not giving it away for free. Now, extra large blind scares me 20%. Because it's always a possibility that you just don't draw any queens, bro. Happens to the best of us. How many? Do we need 300,000 points? Eighty thousand. That's not even that bad. I don't know why I was thinking it was 300,000. <laughs> hmm. Not. I. I wish I was interested. Twenty bucks is always nice, but I really think we got to fish for cards that make jacks and queens. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Absolute trash. Ouija. Too scary for my blood. 
I mean, I'm not thrilled with it. <laughs> it's also the absolute trash, but strength card on this nine two times, it turns into a jack. Baby, you got a stew going? Come on. How about a tarot card? It is what it is. Beautiful. It's a beautiful situation. Already got queens in hand. Already got three jacks, including my favorite polychrome Andrew. A steel card. We might not get there in one, but I think we get there in, in two, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to guess that we probably get there in two. Hear me out. Worst chore, defrosting chicken. Um, I mean, it's not... Well, it depends. It's the easiest chore in the world if you have time. Like, if you have foresight or, or time, all you do is take it out of the freezer and put it in the fridge. And if you forgot about it for like six hours, then you take it out of the... Fuck you. You take it out of the freezer and then you put it on the, like, in the sink. And if you forgot for eight hours, you take it out of the freezer and you put it in like a bowl of lukewarm water or something like that. But yeah, if you had to do it like, like the chicken is frozen. I'm, I'm, I'm getting you, even though queens are good too. If the chicken is frozen and you're gonna cook it for dinner in like 30 minutes and you gotta defrost it in the microwave, I'll plus two that take, that is annoying. I'm not gonna sit here and moralize to you that um, like I've never been told by my mom Hey, can you take that chicken out of the freezer? Because we're going to have it for dinner tonight. And then it was like literally the only task I had to do that entire day as a teenager. And then like 349 rolls around and I'm like, oh, fuck. I didn't do the one thing that takes three seconds that, I, that she asked me to do. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that's never happened. Now, should it never happen? Yes. Absolutely. But, you know, never is a very, that's a very powerful word. Worst chore is organizing my Spotify playlists. I'm, I'm out of respect for you, I'm not going to touch that one. I'm not going to sit here and act like my parents didn't spend a couple of weekends a year like reorganizing their CD collection, alphabetizing it by album name, alphabetizing it by artist last name, alpha, not alphabetizing it, but putting it all in like related genres and stuff like that. I'm just, all I'm going to say is there are worse chores than that because the, what you're describing, no disrespect, is a chore that you don't have to do. Most chores, you got to do. That one, you could let it simmer. If you if you're like, I don't feel like doing this today, you could just <laughs> you could just wait on it. <laughs> Anti six of eight. We're doing okay. We all know you hate playing flushes. What's the best hand to play? Nuts on the table? I mean I feel like the best hand to play is a straight flush because it's rare, somehow rarer than a, a royal flush. But making a straight build work always makes you feel like a genius. So I, I do respect that. High card. You can't all be high cards, man. I emailed my accountant two weeks ago with the documents they asked, is it rude to ask them when they'll be done? I gotta be honest with you, I think the answer to that question is yes. Until there, there is an exception, I would say, if you've got a week or more till the deadline and you think your taxes are relatively simple, then you can send them the the email. Huge. 
You're paying for it? Just to ask? Don't... Yeah, but I don't want to make an enemy of the person who's, like, determining... A, how much money I owe to the government, and B, like... I mean, they're literally doing it all. <laughs> I don't want to make any enemies for, for no reason, at least. You can ask nicely. I'm just saying... I'm. If I were the accountant, my thinking would be like, Hey, buddy, don't worry about it. It's April. It's kind of a busy season for us. And you might then be like, well, that's why I fucking asked. But like, they're in the position where they got the documents, okay? That's all I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong. If anything, you're, you're very right. Honestly, we need to go... We need to go Empress on this with all of our mul multiplying. You could hit him with a just checking in. But we all know what that means, right? Like in corporate email speak, just checking in is like... Why isn't this shit done yet? Yes, where's my shit exactly? <laughs> I refuse. Just touching base. Just touching base. Yeah, I know. I'm familiar with that one. Just touching base is um, corporate slang for you should have replied to this with what I asked for probably like four to five days ago. Chariot! That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see right there. Right there. I think we could play this four and win, but I'm not going to do that. And you got to go here. You got to go here. Okay, we're so ready. We are pretty chipless here. No doubt about that. I do feel, yeah, like friendly check-in. I mean, that's how I write emails too. Don't get me wrong. But like friendly check-in is like a way of saying like I'm not saying fuck you. I'm only thinking it. You know what I mean? Like if but then whenever I get an email from someone that's like just checking in, I'm like they should be saying fuck me. I should have replied to this like 4 days ago. But the thing that's crazy is that even if like doing the thing would only take half an hour, when I get the email that's like just checking in, it's so much easier to spend five minutes writing a reply that's like, sorry, I've been swamped lately, than it is to just do the 30 minutes of work and then send it back to them in the, <laughs> in the email. <laughs> I don't know, man. We weren't born to do emails. We were born to climb trees and eat fruit and shit like that. Don't get on my ass. Guess I, uh, maybe I won't dump it. It does still enable a hand. That's got to be good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. How do you guys feel about high card? Pretty good, pretty good. He is yap. You know what, let me check on his water real quick. Maybe we don't have any fucking water. Need some water, buddy? So... He had water, but he didn't really like it. So I just got him some new water from the same sink.
Wait for it. You smelling it? You just studying it. You know how cats is and all that. Yep, he loves it. Look at that. Snob. <laughs> Judge Arian! Does he slap the water before drinking it? Sometimes, not now. He, well, he's sneezing a little bit. He, sne he loves it. <laughs> Maybe. Crush it. We're going to win this challenge, too. I can't believe it. The weather must be fucking beautiful, man. The sun is, like, reflecting and hitting me directly in my eyeballs. Somebody Google Vancouver weather and tell me what we're, what we're dealing with today. It's gross in Seattle right now. Mm, skill difference. Solar flare. Oh no! <laughs> Only two more hours of the schlock. What did I do to you? This is not rational. This is free polychrome, right? I fucking didn't do shit. I'm just doing my job right now. Why are you so angry? Just relax, man. You got to go get, go to the doctor, go to the CVS or something and check your blood pressure. Like you might be about to fucking burst, bro. There's no reason for you to bring that kind of animosity in here. Oh, you guys like some chippies? Dipped in Mama Liz's chippy oil. Poor Chatter was probably just talking about work. Oh, man, you're probably right. It's like, you know what? If you don't like it, you can fucking leave. I'm not re-rolling the boss blind. This, this seems like a merciful boss blind, given our circumstance. I can live with it. I don't know what we're going to do with this. <coughs> Hierophant card. But we'll, we'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it out. Don't even sweat. It ain't nothing but a peanut. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Not a little of this. Use it on the polychrome jack. Oh right, I forgot that it's those are, those aren't conflicting. I need to check the glossary. Spectral pack. How about another polychrome joker? How about a purple seal on some shit we don't care about? How about some fucking? This shit's not going to work, right? Or is it because 5 is dividing by 0, then there's actually like a space here? It will not work, okay. Well, you know what? Let's make it work. Oh! <laughs> That's why we make clippable moments. Why not, brother? Why not? What's your favorite kind of wine? I'm, I'm so not a wine guy that I don't even have an answer for you and I'm, I'm merely being sincere I, I have none big whoop uh, what do I care I have none answer for you and I'm not bragging about it I'm just like I've, I've never found myself immersed in the in the wine world Hang on, I, there, there's an order to things. First you chariot. That allows you to high priestess. You got some good Pinot Noirs around there. You're, I mean, I don't believe that you are incorrect. But you know what else we have around here? Some of the best IPAs I've ever had in my entire life. Notice I didn't say on the planet because I don't know that for a fact, okay? Holy cow.
What do you think? Send it. <clears throat> it's that easy. Little bro keeps listening to two Canadian beers he knows. I'm in Canada, bro. All I buy are Canadian beers. You will not catch me at the pub going, can I get a pint of Stella Artois? I would honestly rather have like a Granville Island honey lager or something like that, even though I'd, I'd rather drink my own piss, quite frankly. But now, luckily, we've come a long way in like the last 10, 12 years since I've been here. They got fat tug on tap basically everywhere. Now, am I getting a fat tug everywhere I go? <laughs> we should be so lucky, am I right, fellas? Sometimes you get a fat tug. Sometimes you're like, let's take it a little easy. How about a dark lager, like a hoin dark matter? How about a super flux dat juice or something like that? You don't, you don't always have to go for the, the fat tug. It just is it's a great mix of being a good beer, plus also being uh, available pretty much everywhere. Do you drink on the job? Yeah, electrolyte solution left over from my bike ride this morning. How does American beer compare to Canadian beer? I would love to be a snob, but I feel like, like many things in our modern world, it's less national driven and more regional driven. Like the West Coast, I, it is like the same beer scene from Vancouver to California. Only the names change. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. There's some great stuff though. I, I gotta put some respect on the Midwest. Is it Bells that makes Two-Hearted Ale? That's a dynamite beer, man. And when I heard that the normies in the Midwest were drinking Two-Hearted Ale, I was like, these guys know what they're doing. I will say the big difference is that you can buy beer in grocery stores in America and you can't do that in BC yet, which gives America like a huge bump. Because like, honestly, the day you turn 18, you can blow your life savings on FanDuel in Canada now. And not only can you do it, but the announcers on SportsCenter are like, you would be stupid not to right now. But to go to, like, if you want an adult beverage, you have to leave the grocery store and drive to like a separate store because we don't want to encourage alcohol consumption by putting the fucking wine next to the cheese. So you got to buy the cheese and then you got to go drive across town, park in that fucked up BC liquor store parking lot on like Camby and 8th where it's like a half story. So I don't even know if like trucks and SUVs can fit in there. And then you're trying to get out and 17 cars are trying to come in and you're like, brother, come on. Anyway, slash marker me. I'm gonna go pee, then we should do the dulls.